Hi, my name is Christian, and today I would like to show you how easy it is to transition from manual testing to automation through Catalan Studio and TestOps. First, let's talk about the transitional phase people experience and compare the before and after effects of introducing testing automation. The main reason for automation is speed and accuracy of test execution, which manual testing lacks in comparison. Because of that, Projects have a low test coverage and therefore either slows down the development speed or lowers the quality of the project overall. And so what do you get out of automation besides faster testing and no human errors? You know, your developers, first off, get the ability to create test cases and run them often while they're developing new features. Your QA team can now focus more on test coverage rather than test execution and your project overall will be able to maintain a higher standard of quality and be able to release in a more competitive fashion. Now, when you do make the decision to introduce automation, you should be aware of some of the challenges to come. The most important one being tool adoption and onboarding. Introducing new tools and practices in a dev environment can make or break progress to meaningful changes that you're trying to achieve. So it's important that your new tools are easy for everyone to use and flexible enough to fit the skill sets of various types of users like developers. Now, automation isn't about a single tool, but is in fact a journey that a company takes and it takes time to grow into. Changing your environment to the cutting edge of automation can be more of a hindrance than a benefit. And this is why it's important to not only find a great tool, but a great company to guide you through it. And for this reason is why Catalan is recognized as the number one rated tested automation product. Over 100,000 companies trust us to guide them through this automation journey by utilizing our suite of products so that they can create an environment where testing efforts are centralized for all to see and to enable them to have a more informed discussion on the development and health status on any given application they're trying to work on. Now, with that all being said, I want to show you just how quick it is to create a test case and see those results shown in test stops. Essentially, I want to show you what it looks like when you take that first step into automation from a non-technical end user perspective. So, now that we're in Catalan Studios, what we're going to be doing is creating a simple test case against our medical web application, where a user is going to be making an appointment with a doctor. This test case is going to be created by a non-technical user, in this case us, where you know we're not going to be touching any scripting or advanced features. For that, I would suggest going through our YouTube channel for such demonstrations and videos. Uh, for this example, however, all we need to do is first create a test case, given it an appropriate name. In this case, we'll call it Make Appointment. Click OK, and we're going to be brought into something called a keyword view. Uh, in this case, it's a way of looking at a test case without looking at the code itself. Don't worry about the UI you see here. Once we're done with our recording sessions, we'll be able to see it uh, being filled out for us. To record uh, through our interactions, all we need to go is click on the record web and look through our record uh, web recorder uh, window couple things it's going to be pointing out. First off is the URL that we're targeting. So what page do we want to be on when our interactions start recording? And also what browser are we wanting to record in? It should be noted that if we want to play this back into say Firefox, Edge, or IE, or any of the other supported browsers, that we have this cross browser support. Uh, but for us in this test generation point, we're just going to simply go into, uh, rec uh, into Chrome. Once we click on the recording session starts, we're going to be, uh, it's going to bring up our environment, again, our targeted URL, and also in a Chrome browser. And from here, all we need to do is, you know, interact with the application like any user, and those test steps will be generated. If you want to see that happening live, all we need to do is click on the extend, uh, the expand button. And once we interact with the application, you'll start noticing that all the steps will be you know, shown in front of us. So I'm going to simply enter in my credentials and going through you know, various different web elements to make an appointment. 
say that it happens on the 31st and the reason for it let's just say yearly exam something along those lines once we book the appointment we go back to the home page and that's it that is a fully fleshed out ui test case uh, that pretty much anyone can make and you know very few maybe about a minute and a half now all we need to do is simply save our test script and it's going to prompt us to ask if we want to save all the objects that we've recorded. In this case, we're going to say OK. And our test case is now uh, fully fleshed out, again, from uh, you know a basic point of view. Now, if we wanted to parameterize this with any information, or if we wanted to run this against uh, different environments, we can do so. However, you know, for today, we're just going to show the basics of the basics. So we have our test case. If we wanted to, we can play it back for us. But we want to send the results that we may uh, that we make into our test ops uh, uh, into our test ops environment. All we need to do to do that is make what is called a test suite. A test suite is simply a collection of test cases, uh, either running in different environments or different uh, data values, something along those lines and we'll be sending all that information to our test ops environment. Uh, in this case, I'm going to call it med web regression. Click OK. And we simply add our test case. In this case, we check the make appointment test case. Click OK. Now, when I run, uh, hit the play button, what's going to be happening is that it's going to be running and it's going to bring up my environment and go through all the test steps that we uh, happened to go through in our recording session. It should be noted, uh, again, that these test results will be sent directly to our test ops instance, where they will then be you know, uh, added to the list of other testing efforts that we've made, and will be showing us you know, a broad view of the health and status of our application. Again, we're all about saving time but also enabling you to create an environment for collaborative uh, efforts. Once it's done, we can simply switch over to our instance. Let's refresh the, uh, refresh the page. And if we were to go down just a little bit, we can actually start seeing that our test case uh, was able to successfully, uh, you know, ex uh, successfully uh, co uh, complete. Not only that, but the time it take was about nine seconds. And it was done a few seconds ago. Again, if we were in a test case or if we had multiple test cases and running, we would see different various, uh, you know, uh, capabilities or categories to fill them out in. So if everything ran perfectly fine, it would get a pass. If, er if something failed, it would, uh, if something like misstepped or was not able to complete, it would get a fail, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if we wanted to go more into the management, execution, planning, dashboard, that will be for another time. Again, I just want to show you what the first step of automation looks like. And right now, within a few minutes, we were able to showcase, you know, from a non-technical perspective, recording our interactions, being able to play them back, and also, you know, automatically seeing our test re uh, testing efforts go directly to a central repository of sorts, where with all of our other testing efforts, we'll be able to create a collaborative environment where people of different personas or different contributors can actually start having a more informed discussion about the development and health status of the application. And with that, we'll end today's demonstration. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to learn a little bit more about Catalan as a whole and Catalan Studio and Test Ops. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me or you, uh, your respected sales account manager. And I hope you have a great day. Take care.